quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. Without any context, you might think that the person standing above the man dangling from a building is the main antagonist of this film. In reality, this is exactly what director Ridley Scott wants you to believe. In this film, Blade Runner, Ridley Scott uses many techniques to change the narrative of the film and make the viewer question which characters are the most humane. The plot revolves around Rick Deckard, played by Harrison Ford. His task is to find and kill four escaped replicants. A replicant is a human-like android that is far superior in strength and speed to humans. Roy Batty, shown here, is portrayed as the main antagonist for most of the film. He is the leader of the escaped replicants and ventures to find Dr. Tyrell, his creator. His main goal throughout the film is to find a way to bypass his four-year life cycle. When Dr. Tyrell tells him there is no possible way for him to obtain any more time, Roy murders him. Scott's use of dark imagery and intense close-ups makes us believe that Roy and the replicants are true villains. This gives the viewer the idea that Deckard is doing the right thing by eliminating these replicants forever. Here we see Deckard being detained by a replicant. The replicant wants to know how much time he has left to live, but the viewer is focused on Deckard's actions. Scott makes us believe that Deckard has no other choice but to eliminate these androids, making it seem like they can't be reasoned with. In this scene, Deckard finds the location of his last two targets. He finds and eliminates his third replicant, who happens to be Roy's wife, while Roy is away. Shortly after, Roy returns to his temporary home, only to find his wife murdered and Deckard still on the hunt to kill him. The close-up on Roy's face reveals that he is feeling human-like emotions that people were told replicants do not feel. After Roy embraces his wife for the last time, he knows Deckard will not stop until Roy is dead. This turns into a game of cat and mouse, as both try to outlast the other. Eventually, Roy gets the better of Deckard and leaves him hanging onto the edge of a building for dear life. But instead of forcing him to his death, Roy pulls him from the edge of the building, saving his life. Scott uses high angle shots to make Roy look like the more dominant figure in this scene. As he pulls him to safety, Deckard does not know what to think. An android who he's relentlessly tried to kill has just saved his life. Even though Roy has just witnessed Deckard kill the one person he loved most, he has learned that life is too valuable to be taken away from anyone, and that as long as Deckard is living, Roy does not have the right to take his life from him. This is the first time in the film that Deckard shows true human-like qualities. Scott makes sure to not get too many close-up shots of Deckard to make the final scene extremely powerful, and light is shown for the first time in the film, symbolizing a change in Deckard. Roy reaches the end of his four-year life cycle and dies in front of Deckard, proving him that he was more than just a robot. Ridley Scott has changed the entire narrative of this film, with one scene by proving that replicants can feel emotions the same way that humans can, maybe better. <laughs>